Daylight Saber Addicts. Today, we're going to review Form 4, Ataru. Ataru is a very aggressive form, and it has little to no defensive moves. You don't usually do any blocking. There's usually none of that. What you will be doing is you'll be more dodging the lightsabers. And while you're dodging, you're going to keep on moving and you're going to be setting yourself up to attack after. So for example, you dodge, swipe, down, swipe. The practitioner keeps moving very offensively while striking and using the kinetics of the body along with the saber. The form really should be done with someone who's very proficient in saber combat and is in peak shape and is in a large area to actually do this in. We're not gonna do that here. We will go outside in a few minutes. This form should only really be done in short bursts because it takes a lot of energy to keep moving, attacking, dodging, somersaults, flipping, things like that. It takes a lot of energy, so you really want to make sure that if you don't penetrate the person's defenses right away or very quickly, you're either going to want to change your form or you're going to want to retreat. Because you'll find out that you won't have any energy left. Ataru uses all three dimensions of the person's body. So, forwards and backwards, with somersaults going forward or backwards. Side to side, cartwheels. If you do a cartwheel, get out of the way. And then the third dimensional space is spinning. Use your rotation to use the saber against your opponent. So at this time, what we'll do is we'll go outside and we'll demonstrate some basics of these moves. I do apologize ahead of time if outside is a bit distracting. It's the only large space that I have to actually do this. So, and then we'll come back inside after. I will show you a few basic examples in the three dimensions in Form 4. The front roll. This is a basic roll to avoid his lightsaber. Remember to get back on your feet and turn to your opponent right away. Now, we will demonstrate what it would look like with an opponent. Now, during a choreography fight, you can get hit and are knocked back. You can also do the backwards roll. Again, make sure you are ready with your saber after the move. Now, we will show an example in combat. Since we have shown the basics of going front and back, we will now show an example of going sideways. The easiest and the basic way is a cartwheel. And I'll just do this cartwheel right now. Again, when you're done making your cartwheel, make sure you're ready with your saber. We'll now demonstrate on how to use this in a fight. 
I was trying to do uh, the last backwards flip, uh, somersault. So that was my bad, but there you go. Now that we've shown side to side, we could do spins. There are many ways to do spins, but we'll just keep it simple. This move does look intimidating and it could be distracting. It's a pretty useful move. Now we'll demonstrate this move. Again, these were only basic moves. So there's a wide variety of moves that you can do. I mean, you could do actual flips in the air and things like that to actually distract your opponent. So feel free, have fun, and experiment with that. Form four is best when you are against a single opponent, though. You could probably take out the single opponent with that. However, multiple opponents, it might be a lot more challenging, unless you're like a Jedi Master like Master Yoda. So what are the pros then to this? Well, it's very intimidating to see a blur of light and a person like just flipping all over the place. Very intimidating. Um, it's very, very quick and very aggressive. And the moves, at least to the opponent, is pretty random. And for the most part, it really is. Uh, the cons, though, and that may outweigh the pros for some, is that the uh, energy depletion will, will be very quick as you keep moving. So unless if you actually hit the opponent pretty fast, you're going to find you're going to tire out very, very quickly. Uh, there's no defensive moves. Of course, you can bring in other forms for that, but strictly speaking... Atara really does not have defensive moves of blocking or even a lot of counter attacks. You are getting out of the way of the saber, so you got to have be very confident that you will be able to do that. And another con would be that it'll be pretty easy to get injuries by making a mistake of doing a flip, twisting your ankle, breaking something. So again, I do want to highly, highly recommend that you are very good at flips before you start using a saber along with those. So being a gymnast, a martial artist that's been in the, you know, in different forms for a long time, um, you know, even parkour people would probably have fun with this. But again, it is different when you do have something in your hand, so just watch it. Um, and notable practitioners for Form 4 were Yoda, of course, Gwaigon Jin, and uh, Ahsoka Tano. So I really do hope you enjoyed this. I kind of had some fun outside, and uh, that is where I usually do a lot of my flips and stuff, since as you see, there's not a lot of room here. So uh, again, thanks for watching. Um, it would be awesome if you can give this a like and subscribe if you want to keep uh, up to date with new videos. Have a great day.